This is a junction. I believe I came in on the red trail thingy heading this way earlier. This is where the red and the yellow meet. I'm going to now follow the yellow because I believe it'll eventually get back to the parking lot. Bicycle walk. Brighter. We have the distant motor noise to the east to serve as a sonic orientation point. This place will be spectacular over the course of the coming season. Or any other season for that matter. Rising a little bit out of the wetland momentarily. down this year, probably. I like to have cool, simple log bit guardrails indicate the trail direction and look here we meet the red trail and looks like we'll be crossing a little bridge before long. Here we are. 
nice little circuit pipe. We're back. When I first turn the camera on, pause. Then we'll go the rest of the way to where the bike is. So we leave the turbid little rivulet of March. Mage lies just round the bend, as does the Great Bay Estuary in the mouth of the Bellamy River. And now up we go to the place where the bicycle awaits. Getting here is kind of a ball. You just pedal. If you're in Dover, you follow back river road till it meets Piscataqua, till it meets Rabbit, an old garrison, and that gets you down to Bayside, which brings you here. A lot of hills, but it's a nice ride. Get a car, it's great. Ooh, obstacles. A traverse. Oh, this one must have bought the farm this year, too. Yeah, we're coming up along the farm field edges. I don't know if it's an active farm or what. I spotted a sign for a New Hampshire land trust organization. But I don't know what it is. I'll have to look it up. Doth the yellow go, pray tell. I see. It brings us to the root tangled beginnings and the utterly cool and charming little mailbox so Peter Rabbit can check his mail. Actually, it's a journal. The habitués of this fine establishment drop their observations by upon visiting. The little flag being up probably indicates new. See, there's a little journal. And everyone's saying hi. They're the best. Pretty cool. There in the distance, not so far away. The profile outline of the bicycle looms, beckoning me to the return trip. Further up river. This trail it's kind of the entrance, it brings you to kind of a parking lot, but it's all very coy, low key. So if you come here, do respect it, it's really pretty wonderful. And maybe even consider helping them out with volunteer stuff if they ever need it. I might. It's vast farm fields. The fee being of a chickadee. Birds love these marginal thicket things. And so we take the last little leg. A 
a little legacy field apple. The excited chittering of chickadees. As I mentioned, I would expect this place to be a real mess in the coming weeks. And it probably won't really dry out until May. Although it's hard to say. But within a few days of warm weather, this is going to be a morass of epic proportions. So I feel lucky to have found it in its current condition today. And this is the little parking lot. It's hemmed in the entry easement by private property, so do be thoughtful and respectful. This is your principal indication. A simple little coy your sign. Up that way is the larger Bellamy River Wildlife Management area and I'll be going there again. I was there once already. That's huge. That's 400 something acres. This is a perfectly outstanding compliment to the bigger property shows you how far along public open space land stewardship is in the state of New Hampshire. Here's your trailhead. <laughs> 